Today I will tell you the story of Hayden Deegan, one of the most talented riders who has dedicated his whole life to motocross, and in such a short time he has already impressed everyone. Hayden Deegan is today one of the main names in motocross, possibly being the future GOAT. If you don't know this kid, don't worry because today I will tell you the story of this phenomenon that is attracting people who have never watched motocross and are migrating to the sport through this kid. Hayden Deegan was born on January 10, 2006 in Temecula, Riverside County, the son of Brian Deegan, who was a motocross rider in the 90s, and Maurice Deegan. At just four years of age, Deegan already had an interest in motocross and everyone already noticed something different in that child. While he watched the riders, he played with his toy motorbikes and wanted to do the same. It was from that moment that his journey in motocross began. At the age of five, Deegan already knew how to ride a motorcycle. And Deegan's career started so early that at the age of seven, he was already competing with older kids. That's where he stand out. And then brands started to look at this boy and maybe sponsor him. And a few years later, he received the nickname Danger Boy, very impressive with his style. At the age of 10, he was the first kid to do a backflip on a motorcycle. He was already training on a 450, and then you could already see that he was different from the others and already had the mentality of an adult. He impressed everyone at that time. He was no longer afraid of anything about motorcycles. He faced everything that was in front of him. He started racing in the 65cc category of Loretta Lynn's, and in 2017, he won his first official title, and the public was already imagining he is real. In 2018, he won again in the 65cc class, and shortly then he moved up to the 85cc class for boys between 10 and 12 years old. In 2019, in the first months, he was already in some super cross races, and he impressed everyone. He won the Loretta Lins in same year. He went to Loretta, but he competed with the Mini SR1 kids between 12 and 14 years old, and Mini SR2 kids between 13 and 15 years old. And guess what happened? He won both titles who will be his opponents in the future. And in the same year, he won the major event for kids. In 2021, he won the Super Mini, which is where kids between 12 and 15 years old compete. He signed with the Star Racing Team and finally moved up to the 250cc amateur category. But at the end of 2021, he competed in a 250cc and 450b Supercross Championship and won. That's right what you heard. He won the 250 against the 450. In 2022, he won the Loretta Schoolboy Championship, and soon he moved up to the professional class. The day of the race at Ironman has come. It was Hayden Deegan, first time in the professional race. Everyone was watching him, and his debut was for the most Moto One. He was there between the top 8th and 11th. With a few laps to go, he had a hard fall, and in Moto Two, he finished a 24th. In 2023, he started with his debut in the Supercross Futures class, but it was just preparation for professional Supercross. A few days later, and Deegan finally makes his Supercross debut on the East Coast, and in the first year, he finishes a P2 in the championship, showing that he was fast for motocross. Pro motocross begins, and he immediately averages P2 and P3 in the first rounds, until the most important round of the year arrives. Red Bud, that's where his first victory was, where the crowd is huge in numbers, and to win his first overall right, there in the temple of motocross with the support of a crowd is incredible. Now let's go to Washigal, the day he won the two races in a spectacular way with P1 and P1, and disputing the leadership of the championship behind by only three points, there he had one of the best ride of the year, including making the best time of the weekend during the race. With a few laps to go, he simply activated the Danger Boy mode, which impressed even the commentators, opening up a distance of 10 seconds on the opponent in just one lap. There isn't a lot of time to wait. So I believe if Hayden Deegan, once he catches he's him, right there. He's Cooper right looks here. over. He's, we might have a pass. He's going to make a pass. And he's he's got, got it. There you go. Hayden Deegan just coming up and ripping the lead away from Justin Cooper. Okay, all the way to the finish because not only, I mean, yeah, he, he's got a five-second lead right now. He, I believe he just passed Justin Cooper like a half lap ago. Yeah, he's gone. But yeah, you see what he's doing. He's, Look at this. He's serving notice to these guys that he's in shape. He's sending that message and just sit back and watch. Ooh. 
I'm feeling dangerous. I want an autograph after this. <laughs> Get in line. Danger Boy, who they call him on the internet, is going to have a ton of fans to salute this ride. And it is not just about today. It's what it means in the mouth as far as the title. Launching that job. I don't... I don't even know you can jump that high. You kid, right before you're gonna go out, told me that this kid was feeling good. And I will say this, hello, Eli Tomac. We're watching the young beast mode right here. Oh. This is a beast mode performance. Hayden D. 1-1 one, one, and firmly reestablishes championship bid. Hayden Deegan sweeps Washougal. And here is Hunter Lawrence. Not the day he wanted. Now and until the Unadilla stage arrived, and Deegan bike engine could not hold up. His first title becoming further and further, and perhaps almost impossible. But he didn't give up. He kept his head up and faced it until the Super Motocross came in Los Angeles, and he would win his first title as a professional rider. There, all motocross fans who followed his career had a movie playing in their heads. I watched this kid when I was a child, and he was so happy for his first title. Now the 2024 Supercross season begins, and Deegan suffered a DNF in the first race in Detroit. Several riders crashed in the first turn, and Hayden Deegan finished in P16. These points would be important one day, until the Arlington stage came in there. Hayden Deegan, first victory. With his first ever Supercross win here in Texas, and he did the ghost ride. And that is a tribute to his dad who threw the motorcycle over the finish when he won his first ever Supercross race. He was still dreaming about the championship. He won three races and was looking for his second title as a professional. Until the last round came and he had a chance for the titles and was in second place in the championship by just four points. The points from the first round were so missing in the end. Deegan was involved in some controversies, but he grew maturity and faced them and the 2024 Pro Motocross season arrived. That's when we would see the real Deegan in action. He's got the lead! Way back, and you saw how much time the kid was able to make. Let's see if Ty can... That danger boy. Here it is, Deegan! And that's From what happened. He destroyed wins. the championship and made one of the best Coast scrub Coast or save, shot, as Deegan you prefer. Right and we know the real Deegan. He practically dominated the championship the and right was there. fast at all times him. and kept Deegan. calm and won his second title. But as the season is long, Hayden Deegan still had a mission in 2024 to defend the Super Motocross title. In the first round of SMX at Charlotte, Deegan went from ninth to first in a spectacular way. As we said, these guys have been in the same lap times as Hayden does that quad he was doing in practice. Instead of down to Will as the battle materializes. Hold on, Will. Deegan's got the quad in the rhythm lane, and with it, he has the lead. It's good right now. Hayden Deegan. In Moto 2, he repeated what he had done in Moto 1. First Moto, and he is doing what he did uh -huh. that first Moto, just going around these guys in pro. And he just, oh, oh, oh that's how it's going to continue. That swagger can always catch up with you, but I, the kid just believes he's going to pass him. Oh, so yeah. when Will was asking, where are you? Great, uh, <laughs> great defense move there, defending his position, but... He was so fast that his adversaries could not defend himself or react. The guy given a show to the public, showing the others why he's number one in Las Vegas. Hayden Deegan won his third career title in just two years since his pro debut. In such a short time, he impressed the public, and today he is an idol of many motocross fans who follow this sport and one of the public's favorite riders. Many think he got here because his father and mother gave him everything. Yes, indeed, but Hayden had to have a lot of mentality psychology to reach this level. Many riders give up in the middle of their journey, even though they and winning everything because they have a weak mentality. Motocross is difficult, and Hayden Deegan, together with his father and mother, overcame it all and never gave up, and today he is considered a phenomenal rider. This was today's video. I hope you liked it. If so, click like and subscribe. See you in the next video.